Hey, and welcome to the Gen Game Cast for Thursday, January 15th, 2015. I'm Trevor Mignani. We got a full house. This is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but joining me in studio to my left, without the lower third, we have <laughs> Joe Cochran. <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of like called me up and was like, oh, well, uh, I'm to kind of fair, around. I, to be fair, I was invited. He was. And then I didn't know I was going to make it in time. So we, I, I, I played the, okay, he's probably not going to show up game, so, and then he showed up. So we're, we're happy that he's here. Here I am. Uh, joining me to his left. George Picard. Uh, I don't have a lower third, so that's all right. There you go. I mean, yeah, you got it. <laughs> it's, just, it's designed for that view. So. Yeah, I, we don't have all the buttons, George. We don't uh, have a dedicated. We need more app. buttons. We need, we need somebody to run the switcher so I could. If you want to run the, the switcher from home, send us an email. Well, if Don't. you want to like Good come luck. to New York and run the switcher, like I could pay you like a dollar a show. Ooh, hot dollars! <laughs> hot. And we have two folks joining us on Skype today. Go Make ahead and uh, third. Wrong button. <laughs> the wrong button. Jesus, Jesus! I can't. I can't button. I right. cannot button here. Folks. Can't even button. I'm sorry. We gotta call, call this quits. We gotta go home. Yeah. We're done. Do I have a little third? Yes, today? you do. Yes. Yes. Hi, I'm Benny Gerard, coming to you live from sunny South Arizona. It's warm here. Yes. Why Feel jealous, all you Eastern people. Yeah, that's true. Why, yeah. why are you wearing a hat? It's so warm, but he's wearing a hat. I just want that to be known. Because it's my hat. I just, it's uh, it's actually quite cool. It means that it's hot. Because, you know, it's still it's January. What, what, are so. you, what, are you, what are you, like, Katy Perry now? Or? Oh, God. Can we get her on the show? Yeah. I'll replace Sammy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right, we'll, we'll reach out that. on Twitter. Funny you mention that. We got a nice big poster over here. I don't see it. All right. I, and I'm right. Sam Korn. I think that's a doll. Orlando. <laughs> from, I'm from ending sweaty, the intro. From sweaty, sweaty Orlando. We're finishing the intro. We're, we're moving on. Let's go ahead and, and jump into what are you playing. We'll, we'll start with you, Sam, because you're you're the one that wants to move things forward. Okay. Um, lately, I've been playing um, a little bit of Halo, a little bit of World of Warcraft, lots of League of Legends, and... Do you play a visual novel? I guess that's the term. So, so I no. started Fade Day Night. One. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's good. Benny, what have you I'm, been up to? Um, I've actually been getting into both League, because I haven't played that in about a month, I say. Um, I played a bit of Hots in the last couple of days, and I had to be a mechanic f over the weekend. <laughs> and I don't know shit about cars. <laughs> Super, Super Mechanic <laughs> Simulator 2000? Okay, can we can we tell the story real quick? All right, we, we got we have we have we have a few minutes here. We have a few minutes. Okay, so well, we have, I recently we have, moved we have, here you have one to Arizona. Yes. I moved here to Arizona from Illinois. We road tripped all across the U.S., came across the mountains through Denver, uh, which we probably shouldn't have done. Now that I think about it, and as soon as we crossed the you border think? from Colorado to New Mexico, my car breaks down, and after we went to the only place that was open, we went to a Pet Boys on a Sunday which probably wasn't the best place to go, but it was a Sunday. And conclusion was, the car's dead. <laughs> and yep. we had a Long blown, story we had short, a the head. car's dead. We had a junket. The car's dead. We had a junket. And, you know, I, I called my mom and dad and said, you know, hey, <laughs> I'm stuck here in New Mexico. <laughs> we ran out, I had enough money for gas for the car to get home, but now we don't have a car that runs. I think we need Ollie so Williams with the weather report. Yeah. <laughs> Ollie's weather is much bigger than Benny's story. Um, for the TLDR version, got stuck in New Mexico, Car's made it to dead. Arizona, and he's alive. He's there. And yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I made it. There you go. Short one right. car. Yes. Short minus, minus one, one car. car. Yeah. Other than that. Uh, yeah. Other than that, not, not, not too bad. George, what have you been up to this past uh, I, week? So I hear that we're talking about the animes we started watching now, I guess. So uh, I started watching Your Lie in April, which has been fantastic. But as for what I've been playing, <laughs> I haven't been playing League. I haven't played League in probably like almost a week. Thank you. That um, has to be a bold. That's a bold slide. I played. No, I, I haven't. I uh, played Magic the Gathering for the first time in three months yesterday. Um, thank you for another high five. But uh, it sucked. But um, I'll probably still do it again. And, uh, oh, I finally installed SimCity. I updated SimCity. Took me, I'm getting a lot of high fives. Um, it took me four updates of SimCity and reinstallations, because God knows why. And uh, then it worked. So thank you, EA. Uh, it took, you, took me two years to finally get a version of your game that works. But, uh, yeah, it's been fun two years later. But, you know. Nice. Yeah. So, um, Joe... 
I don't have a solo camera for you, so this is like your camera. All right, I'll take it. So, oh, what crap. have you been up to? Um, I've actually been on the spicier side of things. I've been playing a lot of roguelikes. Uh, Faster Than Light is my current gaming addiction. And uh, revisiting Fallout New Vegas with a whole bunch of wonky builds. That's where I'm at. I also haven't played League in probably a month. Good stuff. Other than like one night with Trevor. By the way, I'm calling you out, uh, George. Is that, is that like some Six kind of video ago on you YouTube? League. Yeah, I said I haven't played League in five days. Oh, you said a week. You did say a week. Did I? Oh, I thought I said five yep, days. You said you. a week. Damn it. All right, well, almost Wrecked. a week. Almost a week. Correct. It's pretty good. Uh, uh, well, I mean, you, you pretty much, you dropped three games. You probably just said, you know what? I can't play this game anymore. Yep, that's basically what happened. Yep. All right. So leading into that, I've been playing a lot of League lately. I've been helping Sam out with his promos, trying to get out of bronze. Um, I played one match of Heroes of the Storm. That game actually just went to closed beta, so it's getting there. It's actually Are you finally invited to the closed beta, George? I don't know. <laughs> I actually I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> well, you lost your Babylon account, didn't you? Like, you don't know your login info? No, I think I... No, no, I, I know I log in info now. For those of you... Liar! Okay. No, I do, but it's a different account, I think. I don't know if I have uh, StarCraft on it, but I have Wait. WoW on it. So what account did you put your StarCraft license on? I don't know. That's the problem. I don't, I don't you know. Have your, you have your CD key, though, so you could just... Yeah, I, I do, You can always recover it. That's true. Anyway, so that's... whenever that's, I want to play StarCraft. That's, that's been my week, and uh, it's <laughs> been interesting, to say the least. So let's go ahead and move into the week in news. And uh, we're going to go pretty quick today. Um, a, lot of, a lot of small stuff. Um, AGDQ wrapped up. They raised $1.5 million, which is pretty awesome. Pretty sweet. I can't believe they actually hit it. They were, like, really, they were like underneath a million, like, down to the wire. And then, like, Those all, the, second donors, all yeah. the donations from, like, Twitch and Yeti and um, Humble Bundle came in. And boom, $1.5 million. How much did million. Twitch donate? Uh, they only donated, like, 25000 I think. Assholes. <laughs> wow, you Just, know, uh, and then the you out real quick. yeah, jeez. <laughs> Thanks, Twitch. Uh. Um, also, want to preface this show by saying if the stream starts lagging, it's due to Optimum. So please tweet out at Optimum and let them know to stop throttling Gen Games connection what to was the that, internet. What was that guy's name? Oh, jeez, uh, oh, I forget who it was. Pop quiz. What was the guy's name? If from you the remember last... from last episode, we were on live support with trying to figure it out. Uh, Didn't you take a screen cap? No, that was the other guy. Oh my god, what was his name? Last week it was Antonio. Oh, that's right. I was yeah. On okay, so episode. if you t if you tweet at Optum, please include the hashtag "Screw you, Antonio." Um, that would was be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Screw you, Antonio, with the hashtag. Um, yeah, maybe we'll get some some new followers. Yeah. <laughs> or more great. hate. I don't, I don't know. Either either way is fine. Yeah, but it's anyway, that's yeah. just just practicing it, putting it out there. If we start dropping frames, that's that's the reason why. Uh, we are recording the show this week, so we will have it up on YouTube pretty much immediately after. I'll, I'll start the upload, okay. so that'll that'll be good. Uh, actually, I have, to, I, have to, I have to transcode it first, then we can upload it. Uh, but we will have it up online, so that'll be good. But uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and jump some quick news here. Um, if you, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Dirt series of games. A great little sort of semi-casual racing game. The uh, game's finally dropping games from Windows Live. It's deprecated, and they're moving over to Steamworks. So goodbye, Xbox Live achievements. Hello, Steam achievements. So uh, that's fun, and I just wanted to really point that out and as a good gesture for developers that have old GFWL games to move them over. <coughs> Um, oh my gamer score! Yeah, I was gonna say I'm a bigger fan of gamer score. Than well, your, your gamer Steam score, score will yeah. stay there if you okay. actually I did think it. There's uh, anything more satisfying that little floop that comes up every yeah. time I get Bing. one. That's true. And then the six hours you have to wait loading on Xbox One to actually oh, see God. what it was. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I've come to hate the bloop because now it comes up when I'm playing Madden. Anytime you score and it says clip recorded, and it makes me want to punch a baby. Oh, yeah, it records some crappy clips in yeah. that, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, that one-yard touchdown. So you have, back. That's what I wanted. Speaking so of you have, like, 20 gigs of clips. Yeah, yeah I, I think I have to go through my game DVR and just delete everything. It's true, it's it does garbage. waste a big bunch of space. Yeah, there's probably clips on your Xbox that I've recorded that is just, like, downloaded. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yep. So, uh, speaking of achievements, Counter-Strike Go... Had a crazy number of, uh, of of unique players this past month. They had five million one hundred eighty one thousand three hundred two uniques, and that is a increase of thirty two percent compared to November. That's insane. That's like that's showing some real growth. 
and uh, it's it's good to see a classic franchise like Counter Strike really start and uh, really get back to where it was back in the heyday of, of 1.6. So really happy to see that. I think we can thank a lot of the Twitch streamers for that. We're seeing a lot of the LOL pros playing it in their queue times. And <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> because there's like... been a couple of the really big Call of Duty streamers that have been playing it a lot, including uh, Samzors, who is one of the biggest Call of Duty streamers left on Twitch, uh, switched to CSGO completely. He's no longer playing Call of Duty. Wow. Wow. Boom, headshot. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong game, but... Uh... A little different. But that's that's pretty cool. So the next thing that I that I picked up this week was uh, Hotline Miami Two Wrong Number got its uh, classification refused in Australia. I mean, it's not uncommon for games to refuse classifications, but the the fact of the matter was of what the nature of the, the rejection was for was an implied rape scene. <laughs> did anybody uh, check this out? What? Yeah did you did you check out what they what they actually. Uh, are blocking it on. There's a uh, rule in Australia that any games cannot have sexual violence. Right. So that was the that was the reason why they uh, they're banning it, and we still don't know from the developers whether or not they're going to do a custom version for Australia, or if they're going to do a, uh, or if they're just going to pull the distribution entirely. Is it? It's one scene. I think it's just one scene. Okay, so I mean, they could probably just just edit that yeah. out, right? Yeah, but the I mean, reason this it's going to okay. be like South Park Stick of Truth all over again. Mm -hmm. The reason this is actually news is because Australia apparently recently made an 18 and over only category for yes. games. Like that's a recent thing they had. Yeah, they added the uh, the R18. Right. I mean, we used to have adult only games. Well, we still do yeah. have AO, but no Th stores will carry them. Right. Right. So uh, that's pretty much pointless. Well, well, you, you can buy them digitally, Larry. yeah. Gotcha. So that's that's a thing, and uh, we hope that Australia gets their act together and lets this one through, or at least uh, I mean, puts an R eighteen on it. Yeah, <laughs> there there you go. Because I mean, we're not. It, it's, they they could label it properly, and then you know, make sure to sell to those that uh, are suited or not. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, speaking of other PC stuff, have any of you guys uh, played the, one of the more recent uh, Shadow Shadowrun games? Anybody? I have not played the most recent one, but I heard some news about the one that's supposed to come yeah, out. Yeah, they, they, they hit their funding goal, which is great. Not only did they hit it, if I'm not they mistaken, smashed they crushed it. it. <laughs> they absolutely crushed it. and $100,000 in two hours is didn't pretty they, insane didn't for they anything. Didn't hit their hours? What? What was that? Uh-oh. Sam? Uh, Sam? Uh, I heard... So they put the uh, one that this is a sequel to on uh, Android a while back. Mm -hmm. And yes. I've heard it's actually a pretty good port. So, like, it might be something, if you have a tablet, that's worth picking up. I mean, with that kind of support, I can imagine that a lot of people would be excited. I'd never played it, but with with a game that has that much support by its fans... Probably something that's worth looking at. I I don't know a lot about it to be honest with you, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's uh, it takes place in Hong Kong this time around, mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunately, if you bought the first one, you still have to pay in for the second one. But uh, actually, um, you could probably bring up the uh, Kickstarter campaign and uh, bring that up. We got a video mm -hmm. on there. The internet in the in the studio today is actually like really, <laughs> really falling apart. Yeah, I don't know why. We did everything. I like. I, I talked to Optimum, and they're like, "Yeah, just reboot your your modem. You should be fine." And <laughs> oh no, 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 oh, no. Here, here it is. Sorry. So here we go. We got to get the Kickstarter page up. The video's up at the top of the page. There it is. And uh, we'll play a little. So almost little half a million this. with still thirty two more days. That's insane. Yeah. Hi, Kickstarter. I'm Jordan Weissman of Hairbrain Schemes, and this is the Shadowrun team. <laughs> <laughs> Two years ago. 
You were overwhelmingly supportive us to bring back Shadowrun and the creation of Shadowrun Returns. It was an amazing experience for Jesus. us. Jesus. Not only did you provide four hundred sixty-four thousand dollars, you gave us great emotional support while we did yeah, so. Yeah, this is We'd love this is insane. That experience with you via they're gonna and videos, meeting you at conventions, and of course they're gonna probably you, hit three quarters it, of a million easily. And was enormously rewarding. Last yeah. year, we were able to take the Shadowrun so. experience to a higher level by improving our art. I mean, hopefully it's awesome. With Dragonfall yeah. and Dragonfall Director's Cut. But it was your response to the storytelling that really blew us away. Mm. And so we couldn't be more excited so, to announce that we if you're interested in Shadowrun, I would recommend going in and checking out game. the Kickstarter. And where is that one going to be set? Go ahead and back Hong it. Kong. Why Hong Kong? Because that's where and... our backers said they wanted to go after Berlin. And it's a great choice. Man, who doesn't like cyberpunk? It's a pretty good reason. Yeah. Triads, yeah, corporate intrigue, yeah. Bleeding edge cyber tech, and you said that you were going to give us money if it's we chose this place? Wonderland. We'll choose that place. And for the first time, we'll be taking you on a journey into the shadows from the outside. Thrust into Hong Kong's criminal underworld, you will be forced to adapt, survive, and thrive in an environment that seems designed to kill you. I think because I of this. As the story unfolds, you'll find yourself drawn into only Shadowrun I've ever played is the old one on the 360 that was just like a you'll multiplayer game. With a lurking supernatural threat of a sort that can only be found in Hong Kong. Thankfully, you'll have a local crew of Shadowrunners to work with, each with their own backstory, combat abilities, and progression paths. And just as in Dragonfall, they'll have complex personalities. So, if you do want to get the game, fifteen dollars is the price of entry. One other thing. The concept of gaining face and the importance uh, of reputation that is, is a huge part Shadow of Run. the shadows of Hong Kong, <laughs> and this is going to tie directly Shadow Run Hong Kong. Jeez, I'm. Yeah. <laughs> and the team is having a blast making Shadow The Run internet Hong is the yeah. main concern here right now, unfortunately. Yeah. So well, let's let's go ahead and move on as uh, as we don't want to really crush the connection any further. Yeah, really. <laughs> so um, how many of you guys got Grand Theft Auto Five? I have it. I got it. Three sixty, right? Three sixty. Yeah. Now, yeah. are you gonna get it for PC? No, I I, I, I refused to buy no. the game twice. I Eventually. want it on Xbox One, but no. You want no. it? You want it on Xbox One? You but you won't buy the game twice. Yes, that's correct. Why don't you buy it on I, PC? And I don't want to. I don't want to buy it on PC. I, I don't know. I I feel like I, I just the, I, the PC version will, will, is going to be the definitive version of the game. I'm gonna get rid of my 360 copy and just. Just go for it on a, on a PC when, when it comes out. I feel like just the, playing Grand Theft Auto on PC is not right. Yeah, I have to agree well, with George. It, right? The mods it's make just, it awesome, but I don't feel like GTA Five is a good enough game to warrant me buying it for a second time. I don't know. Like as much when it as goes I, like, on a Steam sale for like thirty five cents, you're gonna buy it. As much as I like, okay, like yeah. watching Smosh play the game with giraffes instead of people, I I don't want to <laughs> use those mods. I'll watch other people play with those mods. I think they're hilarious, but like. Have you ever played Maybe the ice? Uh, have you ever seen the Ice Enhancer mods? No, no, I haven't. Yeah, because the Ice Enhancer for GTA Four is like what made me really want to get back into GTA Four. It turned the game into this like hyper realistic, really good looking game that really blew away what next gen gaming was. The game there already was looks a, really good to me. I don't, I don't know what GTA Five already looks yeah. great. So now I don't think... imagine what happens when the modding mm -hmm. community gets their hands on it and they replace all the textures. Yeah, I mean, it'll there was better, a picture but... on Reddit earlier today of GTA 4 with, like, a bunch of graphics mods on it, and I swear I thought it was an actual picture until I read the title. Like, it's yeah. that good. That's that's Ice Enhancer. Yeah. But you play GTA for the game, don't you? Isn't that one of the games that you play for the game? Yeah. And not for the... Yeah, it's but when hilarious. you have every... It's the same argument, though. You play Skyrim for the same reason. You play for the game, and the modding community just went all out for that, too. Yeah, that's true. That and like, yeah, but Skyrim is a lot Skyrim better on PC on... versus a console because <laughs> right, you can actually yeah. load mods onto it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I bought it on console originally, and I have it on PC, and I can tell you for sure that it's a hundred percent better on PC. You bought it on console? Yeah, I wasn't really into PC gaming uh, when okay. I okay. got Skyrim. Gotcha. And once I got a gaming PC, like I built my computer, and I was like, Skyrim's on sale. Yeah. Did we get the hand wave and everything when it went on sale? That, that's what <laughs> yeah, Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Jazz hands. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'll be by myself with uh, my endeavor to GTA 5 on PC. Yeah, I mean, if I, if I could sell the Xbox 360 version for like 30 bucks. Dude, just, yeah, just go just to get GameStop. On Xbox One. I mean, yeah, if it, if I, it yeah. goes on sale on a Steam sale, I'll probably pick it up. 
But it's just like GTA Five did a lot of things okay, but it wasn't really very good at anything. I feel, like, I, 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 I feel like you might be wrong That there. might be a bit of an overstep. I think that game does a lot of things right. The game is insane. It does everything right. It was game For, of the year last year. It, no. No. It, no, wait, not last year. year before that. I don't. No. I mean, no, no. it wasn't. But it, it was, 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 it was good. Was it, was, it was up there. For sure. There's a few places that gave a game of the year in 2013. I know it was that on the Game Awards, but nobody cared. <laughs> that's, crazy that's my two idea. cents. I'm going to stand here. And... Well, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, pretty much. So, Telltale, they got a new CEO. Did we, even, we didn't even talk about the news, though. You just said, are you going to pick it up? We didn't even go yeah, over well, the actual news. The thing news is, bit. I'm too depressed by the news. Well, now it's, you got you to gotta do it. It's too depressing. Anyways. You got to do it. Yeah, that's true. It yourself. got delayed again. That's there why we don't we buy go. it on PC. There you go. Yeah, but I'm going to get the real good version instead of beta test 1 and beta test 2. Actually, I already bought beta test 1, so. Beta test 2 being the Xbox yeah, One. Yeah, I mean, it, it's true. I mean, it's honestly better yeah, that they delay it than push that. out a product that's not done. It's still going to sell a million copies. I mean, I don't want to deal with another map. Yo, yo, why is it pushed back so far? They already made the game. It's already a game. Like, now, this is the reason why it's pushed back, though. The game is running at 4K on PC. Okay. Running at 4K. Okay. What is it running on every other console? 720p. 720p on Xbox and, and, and PS3. And 1080p 10, at, yeah. on Xbox One and PS4. 4K, as much as you want to throw at it, the game is fully optimized to be a game that's going to stick around for years to come. This, this was in their plans the whole time, though. This wasn't something that right. sprung up on them. They're, they're like, oh, let's make a PC version of the game. Like, yeah, we, no, we but know you're it making it. It wasn't their initial release strategy, though. Like, their initial release strategy was focus on Xbox 360 and PS3, do the best possible game we could do for those systems. Then they moved on. They remastered it for, for, the, for the new generation of consoles. And then they move forward and, and optimize it for PC where processing power is never a problem. Unless so you have a crap processor. Right. In which case you should probably just throw so your well, computer well, shouldn't out. So that, shouldn't that speed up the process then? Right. Like there, there's no reason it should be delayed. Like like George said this was in the plans from the beginning. All the way through. They knew they were going to port it onto the Xbox One and the PS4 and they knew they were moving to P the PC eventually. Yes, but the thing is when the game came out was the Xbox One and PS uh, Xbox One and PS4 available? No, no, they weren't. The game released before those consoles were even available. Right. That's why they had to optimize for those systems mm -hmm. because they wanted to maximize the possible amount of sales, and they wanted yeah. to do that by saying, "Hey, we're not going to release an Xbox One and PS4 version on the console launch day," so they could drive sales on the current version. And guess what? It worked wonderfully. But if if what you're saying is true, and they had a finished product and they just didn't release it for product that's different that's fine i don't think the but, product was done right that's the thing the product wasn't done and it, it so, clearly wasn't done because gta online didn't launch until two right. weeks after the game release exactly and even say, still it, it was broken yeah i was gonna say did they take too long with the online because it was so broken because nothing worked because they're everything I they mean, promised wasn't heists. there yeah we yeah. just got those yeah that was promised like at launch, it's like, great, you're going to do heists online. It's going to be awesome. It's sweet. That was the point. And then it never happened. Yeah. <laughs> That's the but one we, thing but that we got shark cards. to GTA. Right. We got those it's shark like, cards. Go buy them in stores. <laughs> 20 bucks. million dollars. The heists are awesome. Yeah, I, I, I hope they. I hope they are, and I hope they keep extending them, which would be really sweet. So now we can go talk about Free stuff games. Yes. This is Benny's segment. Who doesn't like Telltale? Who doesn't like free stuff? I, I like free stuff. Exactly. Apparently, the, uh, the the link that we had in the rundown just redirected back to, to the Joystick homepage. Yep. Yep. Which is... Surprise. And, and not a surprise at all, because Joystick's website absolutely sucks. Uh, I mean, your it, internet pretty much sucks, too. Well... <laughs> let, me see, yeah. let me see if I can find the real link. And no, because they, they, broke, they broke the links, so... They meanwhile, broke the, they it broke was the working internet. earlier because yeah. I went to it. Meanwhile, we'll segue into a, a, a quick segment of free stuff. So if you want free stuff, you can get Civilization Beyond Earth and, and St. <laughs> Saint, Saint Row for the weekend to play. Hey, that works. There we go. That's what we call a, an emergency segue into, in, 
to make ourselves not look as bad. I, mean, I for one, safe. am excited for Civilization Beyond Earth to play for free. Yeah. Actually, I'm totally busy this weekend. I can't. Dang. <laughs> How many hours are you working this weekend, man? I'm not working any hours this weekend. Well, you got the Packers game, so that's quite some time. Yes. And, you know, so, well, uh, all of Sunday is just football. And then yeah, uh, well, Sunday is football. And all before Sunday, that is a uh, pre-release game. Saturday and Sunday, I'll be in an ice rink producing hockey. So nice. I won't be taking advantage. I'll be of hopefully not producing tears, and uh, that yeah, will be hopefully. at my own house. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but who knows? So now that we got the story, which um, I don't know if George opened it, but he probably didn't. No, I, I didn't. But but I will. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the story nope. open. No, that's not. I just that. pasted the new link in there. I uh, think so. I dropped it in Skype. There Please. you go. Did it. Oh, it there the we go. Oh. We got it. We got. We, we have working. We links. got a show here. We got working links, guys. Don't worry. So We're professionals. Co-founder <laughs> Kevin Burner is the new CEO of what? Telltale Games. Okay, there you go. <laughs> well, we were talking about Telltale, so that was assumed on the way through that one. Former head uh, Dan Dan Connors is going to be leaving the CEO role and going into more of an advisory role. So that he's still going to be around. So not much is expected to change drastically. Mm -hmm. But the big news here: an original property is in the works. Now Telltale has kind of been known for being like the the guys to go to when you have that awesome pre-established property and say, "Hey, we want a really cool story-driven game made." And uh, we got the Walking Dead games, which are awesome. Yep. We got uh, Tales from the Borderlands. Uh, we've got the Game of Thrones games done by them now. <clears throat> so, like, they're, they've kind of created a, a sort of a, a reputation for not screwing these things up. Yeah, they're pretty good the at Wolf it. Among us. The Wolf Among Us, another good one. Although Minecraft. Although some issues with that. Yeah, that, that, now they have the Minecraft <laughs> games. <laughs> they're going to do a Minecraft series. That's kind of funny. I, I still don't know how that's going to play out, but... Yeah, I'll no. be interested to see it. This so, is their first IP, so... I mean, it should probably just go according to plan here, right? Hopefully. We don't, we don't <laughs> think that they'll screw this one up yeah, too bad, I, 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 I don't think it, this is going to be much of a screw-up, but it's uh, it's good to see that they've got a plan for future future growth and future franchises. This... This next story is just so funny. So I, I just can't even like. This I, is just. I, I don't know. I, I feel like. Does I gotta, anybody still have this? I think I right, got some guitars. Hang on. We're gonna go. We're gonna see if I still have some guitars. The last time that I remember this was here. Actually. Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember, but we were here. It was myself. Uh, Joe, you were here. I was here. Trevor was here. Uh, Chaos was down in the basement. Um, Shan went. Yeah, he was singing. At, <laughs> We may actually have video of this on stream if you guys want to check it out. No, we don't. We don't. But we uh, were uh, old school wired guitar. We were playing. Everything. We were playing rock band down here with uh, with Chaos. I think that was the show title actually. I think it was Rock Band with Chaos. Yep. We, we, we still have the hard. He band. was actually a pretty good singer. Um, Dude, he, he beat. Uh, he did Reptilia. Yeah, he smashed Reptilia. Yeah, he smashed it. So, uh, anyways, about Rock Band, guys, I know you've been waiting. It's been quite some time. 21 months, well, to be exact. All right, you know. But so, um, just in case you, you wanted to play some more rock band with some new songs, we've got three new songs for you. <laughs> Shepherd of Fire from Avenged Sevenfold. <laughs> I can't. All right, sorry. I apologize. <sighs> But we have three new songs, as Trevor was saying. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no. You can, you can <laughs> you finish. You Shepherd there. of Fire by Avengers Sevenfold, Are You Mine by the Arctic Monkeys, and Something from Nothing by Foo Fighters. They're all great songs. Yeah. They're fantastic songs. It's just, you know, uh, two years, guys. Come on. Damn it. They're, they're trying to remind us they exist because they're releasing a new one for next-gen consoles. Supposedly. It was announced at E3. Are they? Supposedly. It was announced that they're working on something. Now, yeah. Harmonix was working on something. They, they, they never not announced the that they're doing a rock band game. They just said the property's not dead. <laughs> yes. All right. They're so. making a next gen rock band. This is their way of reminding people they're still alive before they announce. Well, you know what? I hope you're right, Sam. I'll just say that. I hope you're right. I don't even well, think they needed to do this to remind us. Like, if a new rock band was coming out, I'd be like, oh, sweet. There's a new yeah, rock band. Like, yeah. you know. Uh, but, God. It's, 
I gotta go melt down all my plastic peripherals 20, so I can make room for the new ones. Except, except it doesn't work. You don't need controllers. You just use Connect and just play the note. Oh god, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, play the notes. Uh, don't even try. You, you just awful. imagine the notes. <laughs> you know what's funny? I, I I played the uh, Fantasia game that Harmonix did. It was actually like pretty interesting because you uh, it's it's just like you just wave your arms around uh, to hit notes and and crap. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it was interesting. That's like you know what that's like. That's like Wii Music. Um, <laughs> it's pretty similar. It's to like that. Wii Music, but it's like uh, y y it's like pop music, and you could remix yeah. it. It's it's kind of cool. That's pretty interesting cool. concept. Responsive too, which is like the best part, and you can sit down and play. Fantastic. It's kind of like Wii Music. You just swing a nunchuck around, and uh, that's it. No, that, that you got to be disaster. careful with that motion yeah. there, because uh, oh yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> got you. Oh god. So. So, so yeah, Rock Band's still a thing. Go out and uh, purchase it if you haven't, so yeah. you can get these three songs. What, what is the uh, what is the cost of those? It's uh, oh, Jesus, it probably costs way more than the game. Yeah, they probably cost more. I than think the game. yeah, no, they're two bucks, just like uh, just like they used to. Two dollars each. Two bucks each. Holy! Do we, do we know the price of the game? Six dollars? I could find a used copy of this game at GameStop for five dollars. Yeah, probably. Great guys. So yeah, if you want to spend eleven dollars. That's true. Yeah, good, actually, yeah. Good luck finding all the guitars and drums and that's, all that I stuff. I got you. I have all. That's true. I got all that stuff too. Don't worry. I, <laughs> see, see, yeah, you I don't have, have like, any. You have I three guitars sitting band. in your living room. I have three guitars sitting. In my, this is news to me that I, <laughs> I do. They but. have like a layer of dust, like this thick. I'm on sure. It. I mean, it's been 21 months since they came out with a new song. You know? Did you ever buy any of the DLC for Guitar Hero or Rock Band? Um, no. I think I, I think I bought DLC for Rock Band. Yeah. Do the free ones count? No. <laughs> Then, then no. Then no. no <laughs> I, I said bought. That no, I, I, I did. I that, did. That implies some, you made a purchase. Well, I went to the purchasing page and confirmed that I was going to spend zero point zero zero dollars. Yeah, that's a purchase. Actually, you would, have, you would have confirmed that you would have been using zero Microsoft points at that point. Oh right. right. Silly. Man. That's how long it's been. It has. That they were using Microsoft points still. <laughs> yeah. The last time I bought a, a song on Rock Band, I bought it with Microsoft points. Yeah. God. So, speaking of music. This is great news if you're a uh, Twitch streamer like us and you uh, run into issues with your VODs getting muted. Uh, Twitch Music has officially launched into a form of a beta. And uh, it's kind of okay if you're interested uh, in a bunch of EDM or Monster Cat music. You're going to be okay because they've got tons of it on there. That's pretty sweet. As well as uh, Spotify playlists and SoundCloud playlists to make it nice and easy to to bring it down. And uh, now Do the Spotify playlists have ads? Uh, probably. <coughs> I would imagine, yeah. So you'll have ads playing over your stream, but, you know, most streamers have that anyways. It doesn't matter. Yeah, unless you use, like, the play.spotify.com and run a certain extension. <laughs> yeah, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> we won't mention which one, but I think you know which one it is. We'd appreciate it if you didn't use it right now. Yes. Sure. Well, not right now, but in a little bit. <laughs> but, uh... Um. But if you don't like EDM, then they're just like, eh, maybe eventually... Yeah, no. pretty much they, they left it open for anybody to sort of contribute to it, but they're doing the best they can. They, they stated in their blog that currently they're only pursuing EDM and that they're looking to add more genres in the future. I mean, that that's all you can ask for, really, I think. Yeah, they're trying. You know, that's the thing. They're trying. And for yeah. for Twitch, like this is pretty big. It's a big move, and it's, uh, it's one that the community is really going to like, even if it's just the, the token gesture of them doing something to help broadcasters out. It's true. And yeah, they've been doing that. They've been, they've been actually taking a lot of feedback that's been cycling around, like for discovery of, of, uh, of low end partners and all that other fun stuff. So they're working on trying to bring back some of the old Twitch magic. So hey, you never know. We might be on the front page someday. Ooh. Ooh. Front page hype. Front page. Hype. Hype. Yeah. I hype. need to start streaming so I can get on the front page. Yeah. Uh, consistency Hashtag is key, front Sam. Page 2015, the dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I wish. I mean, we we, got, we had front front page. Is, uh, is Kevin here too? Because the next segment's for him. Uh, Kevin, yeah. I'm pretty sure he is. He's he's not in the studio actually with everyone else. All right. Oh, yeah. Man. All right. Well, no, Kevin. Oh, well. Sorry. Oh well. It won't load for me. I was going to show the page to you guys, but it just won't do yeah. anything. So. Oh well. Well. <clears throat> Let's talk about some more legal stuff because obviously that legal legal stuff is our is our forte here at the Gen Game Cast. It's a law cast. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse <Not> me. <laughs> so we we, oh, we like Halo here. Uh, I, I think that's a pretty pretty 
DC yeah, yeah. consensus. Yeah. yeah. Or, or yeah. nobody here hates it. No. Uh, so we'll be probably streaming a lot of it. Yes. So uh, Microsoft announced some updated rules. They say new, but they did the same thing last year, and they just updated them. So we're going to call this they updated the rules because um, let's just call a spade a spade. Because a lot of the stuff here already existed. Mm-hmm. They are just added some new things here saying, hey, by the way, if you're a partner on Twitch and or YouTube, it's okay to run ads. Um, Thanks. Thank you very much. So, Thanks for the permission, Microsoft. <laughs> well, you do. I mean, technically, yeah. you're, you're you're violating copyright right. law by running the ads on it because the previous policy said you couldn't make any money using it. So they clarified that running ads, as long as you're not paywalling somebody from watching the content, you're good to go. Now, there, a few feathers have been ruffled because of the wording of uh, of the of how you have to word your title. You can't use the game in the title of the video, but I find it. Very hard to avoid that. How do you? Yeah, alien I, gun shooter game with whoever. <laughs> like what? Yeah. What do you? So I, I feel like that's, that's more. Can I use names from the game. Using no. rattle bifles. Like what do you say? So <laughs> I think what that's more concerned about is people that are creating machinimas, right? And people that are trying to create like uh, stories with from using elements from the game. So like the red versus blue guys, like. They couldn't call their series Halo Red vs. Blue. Good thing they don't. Yeah, well, I mean, they already actually pay a license fee to Microsoft. Right. They have some licensing deals set up with them, so they're, they're already covered. Mm-hmm. Everything's good. That's but interesting, though. I, I think I, that's really what the rule's more concerned about is people that are less doing streamers episodic more. content right. versus l- traditional Let's Plays. Right. Well, and there, there's another big restriction on here. Um, hmm. A lot of the big YouTubers now uh, aside from the YouTube ads, run ads on their video, and you're not allowed to do that anymore. What do you mean by run ads it, on the video? Like they have a sponsor or whatever that oh. they run an ad for at the beginning of their video. They're not allowed to do that anymore. Really? It's part of the video, of the actual video. Right, yeah. Right. Uh, so they can't do that. Right. They can't run it. Like if you're sponsored by an app or whatever – you can't put the ad for that app in as like uh, at the beginning of your video as actual part of it. The only ads you can run on that video is the YouTube ads. People are going to have to get really clever with their product placement, you know? You're going to be playing Halo in the background. You're going to see a MacBook. You're going to be like, what the <laughs> hell is that? Is that what Master Chief had? Like, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to look like a House of Cards episode. But that's kind of interesting. What would they do against that? I don't, I don't know. Uh, you know, I don't <laughs> think you're... Because I read through the rules, and I don't remember reading that. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can find it. I have a feeling this rule book is, like, fairly odd parent style. Like, the <laughs> rules. Like, the rules. <laughs> <laughs> just, the this thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay. Yeah, I see it there. Thanks. That one part of that rule. <laughs> I believe it. If Sam read it on the internet, you have to believe it. It's true. So it's the that. Internet, why would you lie? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. People don't lie on the internet. No, that's just a waste of time. Uh, <laughs> nobody will believe that. Are you lying? Is that yeah, what's happening? Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that what you said there, Sam, is, is not true because... Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, and most notably, video creators are prohibited from profiting off any content created with the exception of ad revenue generated from YouTube and Twitch ads. Yeah, but that... It's an ad. It's a bumper. Like, that's... Yeah, if it's part of the video, then it's not... That's fine, I, isn't I, it? I don't think what that is... is the, that's not enforceable. That's... The, the difference in me, say, for example, I run... An, say, for example, we were sponsored by, by Team Liquid. And I ran a Team Liquid ad at the beginning of the, of the, of the video. Mm-hmm. That's an advertisement. That's, that's I'm earning money from an advertisement, not by paywalling the video. Mm-hmm. So, I don't think that... I, I think that doesn't hold up. I don't know. It just doesn't seem doesn't seem right. Well, we'll have to test it. I think you two are describing two different things. Yeah, no, no, I think we're describing about, the same thing. We're talking about the rules. The rules. And um, I it's think just Sam's different right. interpretations. I I feel like they left it to be able to be lo- very loosely interpreted there. It's like finding you know, it's kind of like figuring out what it catches. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. Nobody knows. Figuring out a catch in the NFL. I mean, he yeah. got what he had two feet on the ground. Move. Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's pretty much how complicated this is. 
But at the end of the day, nobody cares as long as, you know. I, I think we got an episode start, title. You know, What's a Microsoft move? Copyright <laughs> striking everybody. See, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. So I think we're going to go take a quick break here. We're going to take a few minutes and uh, relax for a sec as we gear up for the second half of the show. We want to thank you guys for sticking around with us. We will be right back in just about two minutes. So stick with us, and uh, we'll see you in two. And we are back for the second half of the show. We're going to talk about Nintendo Direct. It was a thing that happened yesterday, and um, Nintendo basically laid out their plans for the spring, and uh, they basically gave a big middle finger to anybody that wanted a new 3DS non-XL. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and dissect the entire presentation. We got the team here. We got Joe, George, Benny, and Sam. So uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and jump back into this and uh, and really just kick it off from the start. Uh, uh, jo ah, Joe, did you get a chance to take a look at the uh, at the Nintendo Direct? Not the whole thing, but I did see some bits and pieces. So w let's <laughs> talk about things that we really liked out of the uh, out of the presentation. So um, uh, wh wh what was your top pick out of there? Like, what was the thing that really got you excited? Believe it or not, the top pick for me was. A non disappointment, and that would be Splatoon. I had very low hopes for it, and it did not look yeah. tiny. <coughs> they they actually showed a pretty good clip of Splatoon in the uh, in the pr in the presentation, <coughs> and um, yeah, we I, we don't have a clip ready, so you don't have to worry about finding one, George. <laughs> All right, I mean, I can find <laughs> one real quick. <laughs> George is like, I can do this, I can do this. I am. But if we do get it, that'd be great. But uh, then I mean, Splatoon I was the YouTube. Click the thing on the yeah, comments. I, I got it. Yeah, we, uh, wow, we got that. Well, I mean, we have internet, so we, we, we could do it. Yeah, this is much better than it was before. Yeah. But yeah, Splatoon actually looks really cool. It's kind of like a... <coughs> it's interesting. It's a mashup of like a whole bunch of different types of games. And uh, the visual style is just great. Like, it just looks yeah. awesome. Like, when I first saw it, what was it, a year ago we got the first look of it? Mm -hmm. All I it was thought E3, was like, wow, yeah. that was like such a cute game. I want nothing to do with it. And like now, I was like... Mm. I can see me having some fun with that and, like, the right people. See, the thing is, I feel like this is going to be one of those games that's going to be really fun for a week and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Sad truth, probably. And then nobody is ever going to play it again. Like, you're going to be like, hey, you guys want to go play some Splatoon and you'll never be able to find a lobby. Well, the problem with, with Wii U Online is definitely the, uh, the fact that you really can't make, like, a... You can't voice chat or... 
like I don't know what their plans are for for Splatoon, but I feel like the Nintendo's online infrastructure is gonna really it needs make change, a, make this an issue because mm -hmm. it looks like a really awesome game, but. Well, the thing is, Nintendo's a Japanese company, and Japan is much more interested in single-player experiences. But this is like an online-centric game. Yeah. I know, but because of that, they're not putting the infrastructure in for online-centric games, because that's not where the interest is. Then why make the game? They gotta try. They're, yeah, like... like they, they, I Nintendo's mean, gotta... making baby steps again. Yeah. yeah. And... Definitely. But it's, a step, um, it, it, but it's a good step. It's, it's yeah. a game that's got a lot of different audiences excited because it's got the the FPS crowd interested because of the uh, oh jeez I gotta I got to unlock an iPad now. It's got the FPS crowd interested. It's got the it's got like the sort of objective players that like to just play like different like team based games. It's got that party game vibe to it. It's it's kind of like uh, it, it reminded me a lot of Happy Wars for uh, Xbox Live. I could see that. Like uh, it's like, kind of got me, that really cheery atmosphere. To me, I had like a whole hitting on the party s type of thing. I felt like almost like an older feel to a Mario Party mixed with like an FPS style. Like everything just felt so colorful. So like it was intended to be fun, and there were different things you could do the whole way through, and it's meant to be played with mm -hmm. other people next to you. But yeah, I, I think this it's looks a, like. A game that would be super fun to play with a few buddies after we've had about four or five beers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say it. Just saying. <laughs> there you I mean, go. I, I'm going to say it. Like, Mario Kart's more fun when you're buzzed. <laughs> um, one note I did make on this. I'm, I'm re-watching the videos. You guys are talking about it. Um, they're doing their own weird take on the loadout system. Which I found was kind of interesting because it's like you get you so you got your main weapon, you have your special weapon, and then you have like, like your ultimate weapon. Wait, Direct? what? Yeah. An, well, you have a uh, you, you have your uh, primary, secondary, and then your special. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Three weapons. Okay. So. Uh, and then you see it, stuff it, like it the ink roller. It's, 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 it's just actually like, what? it's more like Destiny in that sense, where you have your primary, secondary, yeah. and special. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is actually like the strangest analogy I could come up with for this, but that's what it reminds me of. So, so me and Joe like Splatoon a lot. Yeah, I, I'm no, actually pretty I think it's one of the it. coolest things that they showed off in the presentation, aside from the absolute money-generating machine that are the Amiibos. But, right. uh, so, Benny. Something very important. For yeah, you I thought I was next. I got nope. You got you got you, oh, got, you got superseded. Oh, I'm so excited. For oh, story. because I was talking about it was a good segue. All right, all right, we'll go to Benny. Anyway. Benny. <laughs> Benny. Oh, well, I got to talk about the thing I liked. Um. All right, we're going to we're going we're going to George because you're right. taking too long. All right. All right. All right. All right. So we were talking about how you know Nintendo is Japanese based and they don't like multiplayer games. Blah blah blah. They don't like online stuff. Good. So I'm going to talk about a game that's not a single-player game, that is a multiplayer game, but it's not played online, so nobody has to worry about that. And that's Mario Party. The game that everybody loves to hate. The game that everybody loves to love. This is the best game. Mario Amen. Party 10. Any any news they can give me about Mario Party 10 is good news. I'm very excited for it. I'm just about... I'm going to say I'm more excited for this game than I was for the last Mario Party game that I was very excited about, which is Mario Party 5. And I was excited about Mario Party wow. 5. Mario Party 5? I was excited about Mario Party 5 because of the... Because you thought it couldn't be any worse than 4. And it wasn't. It was actually good. Uh, 3 was fantastic. 4 yes. was obviously a letdown. 5 was very good. 5 was good because of the... Um, the, uh, the I forget what the mode's called right now. <laughs> cart mode? Yeah, the cart, the battle cart, cart mode. Battle, mode. Yeah, I don't know oh. if it's called battle cart mode. Or that was so sweet. Uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a fantastic addition to the game. I think it made it stand out amongst the other Mario Party games. Mario Party 10, obviously, we have Bowser mode, which is the coolest thing. Finally, another good use for the Wii U gamepad, which I honestly believe that, um, what we'll call it, Nintendo Land was really fun. Because yeah, it was it, it was uh, the Wii Sports for the Wii U. It was the game that introduced you to the core concepts of what do I do with this thing? What can I possibly do with this gigantic monstrosity that is the I, Wii U gamepad? I'm going to say, when you have that awkward number, five, five yeah. is a very weird number when it, it comes is. to a lot of things, video games included. And five is a number that we've had, you know, 
oh, well, the fourth person gets the controller and then the worst one passes it off, like when you're playing Smash or something like that. Even now when you have four to eight man Smash, you don't want to play Smash with five people. That's a weird number again. You want to play four or six with teams of twos or eight. You don't want to play with a lot of CPUs or something like that. So when you have five players, what do you do? You play Bowser Road in Mario Party. You have one asshole that wants to just ruin everybody else's <laughs> lives. That is oh, what, so Brian. That's what mini games are about. That's what Mario Party has been about. Just the one asshole, and now he has a role. And it's it's. I mean, I, I, I think mean, it's pretty awesome. Uh, going back to the launch game, New Super Mario Brothers U. Mm -hmm. uh, you had that asshole. You did, and it was hilarious. Actually, yeah. you had a super troll that decided, you yep. know what, you guys, screw you. I'm going to put blocks on top of your head. It was like playing the Impossible Mario yeah. game on, you know. The it's like playing Kaizo Mario, yeah. but the guy's right right, right next to you saying, yep, and I'm going to screw you And then you could see here. his face on the, you know, it's yeah. great. Everything about it was great. Yep. And uh, this is no different, I don't think. And with the uh, with Mario Party 10, we also have our Amiibo Party trailer right here. Oh, I'd yes, like to yes, yes, uh, yes. show you guys. We'll bring that up. Let's go. So, uh, so the internet just died again. The internet oh, yeah. just it's, died, it's, but it's warning: dying. we have mild cartoon violence. <laughs> yes. Up, uh, oh, internet's oh. dead. Oh. oh my! I'm sorry. We're gonna have to call up. Uh, yeah, we're gonna Optimum. we're gonna call Optimum at the end of this show here. So let's go ahead and just uh, and get through here. Um, All right. So, so uh, you know, TLDR: George is very excited about Mario Party 10. Yeah, Amiibos are in it. It's mm -hmm. gonna be sweet. So, <laughs> Benny. If you're there, yes. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. I, I don't know. Am I? Yes, Bowser's really crashing the party. Yeah. <laughs> so while Bowser's crashing the party, we'll let Benny uh, talk about what he's most excited for. Go for it. I am actually very excited about um, Xenoblade Chronicles X because I am I'm, I, I want to play that game. It looks very it's interesting. I um i again I've never played anything else in that series before ever, and just this I just want to. It just looks like fun. It's just like one of those um. Action RPG games I just want to play. That's I mean, the trailer looked like, you know, running across wide open vistas, the game. That's all you they played, did in the have trailer. You played, uh, have, you, have you played, um, dra I want to say Dragon Age, the newest one? Not the newest one. You do one. that a lot. <laughs> okay. I'm not saying that's what if you, you do, do but that's all they have in the trailer. RPG, that's all it is. It looks great. They were just like, um, no, I have, oh, I here's watching a the E3 really stream, pretty though. Vista. I, no, I remember watching the E3 stream, though, um, of them actually playing the game, and it just it looked like a lot of fun. And that's that's probably my other pickup. I mean, the other one I want to talk about, but we actually have a segment on it later, so I'm just going to hold off my comments on it. What do you mean segment? This is so, the segment. I think yeah, talking about this that. is the segment. Well, yeah, but, yeah, but I, uh, I want to talk about something that wasn't in the show notes. All right, that's fair. So. so Go ahead. There you have it. All right. Is it my turn now? Yes, yeah, Sam. Mr. Non-Nintendo. Oh, yeah. What were you excited okay. about? So, no, the, the thing I thought was actually really cool was the um, digital Wii games without having to put your console in Wii mode. Yes, that's yeah. actually yeah. one of the... It's, yeah. I kind of overlooked that, but yeah, I think it's... It, 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 it kind of flew under the radar with all their big announcements, but to be honest, I think that's a really big thing for them. Yeah, because they're oh, they're essentially remasters. I mean, you can play Galaxy Two with a uh, with with uh, retooled controls. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's like the uh, the new play control that they did for uh, for the GameCube games on the Wii, except uh, huh. much easier to get your hands on. So, obviously, the uh, the giant trailer that they showed off at the the uh, Nintendo Direct was the Majora's Mask 3D trailer. I already talked about the Amiibos. No, <laughs> 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 I, just, I already went Woo! over that. <laughs> but uh, Majora's Mask 3D. And not only did it uh, did they show the trailer, they showed off the uh, the special edition console, which um, apparently I have to eat crow over because yeah, yeah this guy will be a sucker. Let's see uh, who who called it. Oh yeah, that was Caleb Caleb Lindquist in the uh, in the Gen Game chat that said that was going to happen. So there's your shout out. <laughs> Who anyway, didn't think that was gonna happen. Uh, he, he, he was the first one. He was the first one. I said it wasn't gonna happen. Okay. He was number one. <laughs> so okay. let's let's, look, let's look at this Bob quotes this, this episode. So like uh, for South Park. I, I gotta say the game looks fantastic. Uh, they made a bunch this. of UI tweaks. I just find it really annoying. They have to show the trailer like this. I like when they do this. I think it's cool. I thought it was interesting. 
And as a huge, I, I'm sure everybody's well aware how big of a fan of this game I was. This is my and second favorite Zelda game. Next to Wind Waker, ahead of Ocarina of Time. What? Yeah, ahead of Ocarina of Time. I'll fight you after the show. Yep, it's true. <laughs> this game is fantastic. I've never played any of them. Well, get ready. This is the best one. Next to Wind Waker. Like, I've considered getting a 3DS. And one of the reasons is so I can finally, like, play the, the, the classic You can play Zelda the game. two best versions of Ocarina of Time the and now Majora's best Mask. games. Yeah. <clears throat> like, that, and, like, I guess I kind of want to play Wind Waker. My friend, when I was a kid, like, he loved that game. He played that game, like, 15 million times. And I was always at his house. So I'd be, like, over here doing something, and he was, I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, playing Wind Waker again. I don't blame him. That music <laughs> gets me every time. <laughs> the only part of it, yeah. So, Majora's Mask 3D coming out, uh, what, what was the date? February 13th. Oh, you don't remember the date? It's Valentine's Day night. There you go. So you can either... <laughs> I actually it's the best, best Valentine's Got a date at GameStop. I was, talking, <laughs> I was talking to an old friend, and she said that uh, because of it, her Valentine's Day is pretty much ruined. But she doesn't care. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was Casey that said that, actually. That nobody but, knows. Uh, yeah, that nobody knows. But Nobody I knows like, who Casey is. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah. So... Trevor does. Some some Valentine's days will be ruined because of this and all the new hardware coming out that day. You know what? Uh, I remember the last uh, post post Fourth of July was it? Yeah, it was post Fourth of July. Everybody's uh, everybody's hungover or whatever. <laughs> but it was myself and like a ton of other twenty one plus year olds out getting uh, heart gold and soul silver. I remember that. That was July fifth, and, and, and I, I was, was just the like, poor schleb that was sitting in, in my <laughs> retail job, opening the store, hung over, and I had a, I, I made a pyramid of them at my counter. <laughs> and anybody that worked with me that day knows that we we stacked them high, just like the connects. <clears throat> so, but yeah, that was fun. That uh, that was uh, that was actually a great launch. But um, so let's talk about the 3ds. I mean, I don't want to talk about amiibos because. I hate talking about Amiibos. We're running out of time, too. I so, <coughs> I was arguing with Sam before the show started about the new new 3DS XL and how it's going to sort of, like, fragment the market, both between consumers and developers. Because you got all these great new features in the new 3DS, mm -hmm. but if you just target <coughs> new 3DS, you're leaving out most of the market of the 3DS right now. This is what happens all oh, the no. time with Nintendo. <laughs> This is Wii Motion Plus aren't gonna all yep. over again. Use yep. the features. The, the developers aren't going to use the features for another year and a half, at least until they've sold enough of them yep. for it to make, but then, but make then it get, worth their time. Nintendo's still selling the 2DS. Yeah, and don't. Th they don't seem to want to give that up either. And the 2DS isn't going to have the thumbstick. It's not going to have the faster processor. It still has the smaller screens. Well, smaller screen. Also, I, I'm curious as to why they are even calling it the three D the new three D S XL. Why not just call it the new three D S? You don't have another size. You have yeah. one well, size. North America, what's it XL they, of? Not, they're not even making they, the they 3DS. do have another North size North in Japan. And Australia and mo half of half the European uh, territories as well. So call it that new new three D S no. if you want. You don't need to <laughs> say or you know You're, you, or you, can pull you lost your mic. <laughs> you lost your mic. I lost my mic. Uh, we we had to pull Mike's George's mic privileges. Pull an you can just pull an Apple and just say the 3DS again. You know. Well, Once no, that's even worse though. Of news, but you just get but, back but to the, the original. thing is that's even worse though it because everybody. Yeah, of course. Yes, now you know it's like, hey, you got a 3DS. Wait, it it doesn't have. You have so many parents and what? grandparents that have no idea what they're buying these kids anymore. <laughs> They don't even, yeah. And they could, they can't call it anything else. They call, they can't call it the new 3DS2 because, the, or the 3DS2 because then to confuse people buying the 2DS. Are they even gonna have room on the side of the box anymore? You know when you buy, <laughs> you know when you buy a game and it says, you know, compatible with. There's a list of consoles. It's like, oh, this, well, this one we should get this one because it's compatible with the 3DS, the XL, the new XL, the Lite, the 2DS. Like, yeah, dude, we can just play it on and all. I, I feel like <laughs> Nintendo couldn't have balls this transition up anymore. But I will say it looks awesome. It, yeah, the, like, the system itself looks great. nothing wrong with it. 
I'm really sad that the the new 3DS standard isn't coming to North America because it's got the removable face plates. Mm-hmm. It's smaller, so it actually fits in your pocket, but it's got slightly bigger screens than the original 3DS, which is what I liked. Like I like I like the original 3DS. I just wish it was a, had a little bit bigger screen on it. But no. The thing for me is no. I, I'm just gonna I, I'm not gonna play the 3DS outside of my house very often. So I could just use a Wii U gamepad and pretty much have a 3DS, you know. Yeah. The 3D We're getting is the th- yeah the th- the 3D is really not I don't know. I'm kind of over it. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody does remember, Nintendo did file that patent for like they wanted to kind of make universal a universal operating system between all their consoles. I think the addition with the other stick and it is just you know another step they're making. Towards towards making that happen. I mean, if you even got the extra um, triggers on it now, so are they gonna, shoulder buttons. So, they, so uh, I just found out something interesting about the new 3DS. Yeah. What's that? You need a screwdriver to change the memory card. Oh yeah, yeah we were talking about that before. We were talking yeah. about that before the show. And... That's fine. Whatever. Yeah. It, no, it's so stupid. It's, like, I think it's what, really irritating. Nothing will frustrate anybody any more than like, oh, all right, great. I only got four gigs built into this system. If I need to get a bigger card, not only do I need to format the card, which is a pain in the balls for a, for a 3DS. I found that out the hard way. Um, that Now I have to take tools to my 3DS and open it up. What the hell, Nintendo? This is, then... this is 2015. Get it together. I don't think you need uh, memory cards falling out. I don't know. I don't see the problem with using it one time, like using a screwdriver and just... Yeah, but... Are we here's, that lazy? Here's the point. Like, Watch them pull on out the, the uh, on the 3DS, <laughs> on, right, the, right, right. on the 3DS <laughs> and the 3DS XL. You could very easily put that memory card in, and it was secured. You know why? There was a nice, convenient flap that closed right over the top of it. Mm-hmm. Easy. Trevor, how many times did you change your memory card? Twice. Two times. That's two times Ever. more than a lot of other people. So, okay. well, here's, if, you're, here's if, my you do- here. if you download games right. off the eShop, you're gonna uh, need memory cards. That, that's true. You're that's gonna true. need them, hands right, down. Right, right. My point will stand and will defeat whatever point you're about to say. Go ahead, Benny. Go ahead. How many, how many times have you down. ever opened up your phone and taken out the memory card in there? Um, I have an iPhone, so zero. When I had an Android phone, I swapped it three times. What do you do with your okay. phones? Well, the first memory people, card I got was... People do this stuff with their it? phones all the time. Okay, the 3DS is no different, except they're yes. not going to make just a detachable yes, Benny, Benny, that comes Benny, off. Okay, you got to secure it. Benny, the point is... Hmm. Most cell phones nowadays come with enough storage where you don't even have to put a memory card in it. Or at least if you're buying a real smartphone. Like, if you're buying a the Galaxy... The only real reason to put or, a memory card in a phone anymore is if you want to put a bunch of music on it. Even still, most, most modern s- smartphones come with at least 16 gigs of storage. Most of them are coming with 32 now. You could buy them now with up to 128 gigs of onboard storage. There's, the, the point of having a memory card in a phone has gone so far away it's not even funny unless your phone just doesn't have onboard storage or your android system os is taking up 13 gigs but that's another gotta, story gotta just throw that hate in there somewhere. oh dude I, I gotta throw it in there God, there's so much hatery then again i i don't know what's going on with my iphone 14 gigs of other <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently it, it might be porn it might be browsing other. history it could be text messages who knows what it is it's just other it's other thanks apple Get Give me crash logs. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> but still, that's my point. Like, it should, something like that shouldn't take tools to get to. It's annoying, and I, I think it's 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 just silly. That's my that's my spiel on it. But my other issue with the new 3ds is, so some of these games are getting updates to support the new 3ds. It supports Circle Pad. Any game that had Circle Pad Pro support, but it just seems like it's a it's a mess. Does and the C stick? Does anybody else think the C stick should have just been straight another analog stick? I think it should have just been another circle pad. Should have just been. They should have just yeah. put a second circle pad on. I agree with that. Because now it's like this little right. nub thing. It's like you remember, you know, like the old old IBM laptops. Mm. They had a little nub on it. Yeah, that's, that's what, what it looks it, like. Maybe that's what it is. But those I'm were, okay those with were that. pretty those easy were pretty to use. Good. Yeah, but I like the circle pads to be honest. But maybe they couldn't fit a circle pad there. I don't know. I want to call bullshit on that uh, one. I mean, <laughs> it'd be cutting it close have you seen, to the Y button. Have you seen the analog stick on an original PS Vita or PS uh, PSP? Yeah, yeah. 
That thing was tiny. Yeah. You're telling me they couldn't have fit one of those on there? Uh, maybe they could. Hey, have you see the size of the circle pad on the uh, 3DS? They could, they could have fit a second one. Easy peasy. But that's, that's besides the point. So if you had a 3DS and you wanted to upgrade, would you would you upgrade to the new 3DS? Or do you not see a point? I'm going to say yes, because I have an original 3DS. If I had a 3DS XL, I would definitely not upgrade. There, there's pretty much no point. You could buy it in a year at $50 less, although the price point is very good. $180 for this console is fine. Yeah, and plus GameStop's so. actually offering a pretty good deal on it, too. Now, if you trade in your XL for okay. a pre-order, 100 bucks off. What if I trade in my original 3DS? Uh, I think you get 80 then you bucks Then you get for nothing. It. You first actually get a pretty good deal for it. I have to find it first. That's the main. <laughs> That's, That's the the step one, find 3DS. Step one, find the 3DS. Step two, know. sell. Yep. But, I mean, that that's a good price. But wait a year. And I'll when it's, but I don't want to when there's games year. for it. Well, you're and getting games two games. Making use of it. You're ga- getting mul- multiple games at launch that are going to use it. You've got Majora's Mask that's going to use it. Um, you've got, I think, Steel Diver is going to use it. Can't stand Steel that's actually Diver. that's actually a launch game that'll use the features of the new 3DS. Great. Wonderful. I remember when Steel Diver was a launch <laughs> game the first time. Hated it. Um, uh, Monster Hunter is going to use it. That'll be kind of cool. Okay. So uh, there will be games that use it. Smash is going to use it. Mm-hmm. So uh, you could actually hit smash attacks instead of like breaking your control stick. Give me another Luigi's Mansion, and now we're talking. <laughs> if you give me another <laughs> Luigi's Mansion, Nintendo, right. I will buy any you console you tell me. There you go. Good Luigi's Mansion. I mean, they they gave good Luigi's Mansions. Both of them are All good. The first one was good. The, the second, second one's good one, too. The second one's like okay. Give me a third I one. Use that term very lightly. You can come out with a new console. Forget about it. We why? I don't care. I will buy it <laughs> for a good Luigi's Mansion game. <laughs> Apparently, the new console for Nintendo is in development already. So, oh, oh, yeah. great. I'm we excited. talked about it, about that a few episodes it's we, ago. We, you, and me. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> you and I. <laughs> you and I. There you go. <laughs> they thought that would have been too confusing. Uh, that's true. They're gonna use that. They're gonna, they're gonna use some sort of stupid song to market it. Oh, wonderful. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, another thing, too. No power cord in the box. I mean, what? this isn't much of an issue nowadays, as I think everybody's had a DSi or DSi XL or D- 3DS or a 3DS XL. Well, they're marketing this as an upgrade for the people that have one and want the new features. Like, it's market- It's being targeted at the people that already have one because nobody's going to be buying a new one when they... You know, that doesn't already have one at this point. Yeah. Mm. Plus, it allows them to drop the price a little bit. Yeah, it does allow them to drop their price a little bit, which is good. But at the same time, I think that there's going to be a lot of unhappy kids at Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what I was yeah. thinking. That just but, unless like they have it really clearly marked in the box, this does not come with a power cord. Or they, start, or they start selling some, like, combos with the power cord. Well, the thing I is, mean, um, it, online, they're actually giving the power cords with it. Oh, okay. Re- retailers are going to have to be aware at Christmas time. You know, like, let people know, look, this doesn't come with a power cord. There's the power cord. Yep. Put them next to each other right. on your displays. Right. And I think that's totally possible. And uh, they Unless should Nintendo pulls a it. Nintendo and they're like, you know what? Yeah, we're going to cut our shipment on power cords. You know what's so funny? enjoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super troll city there. You know what's funny, though? Um, the uh, 2DS... This is a question I want to ask you guys. Do you think Nintendo is going to create a new 2DS? No. 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 I don't yes. think it's sold well enough for them to warrant it. Yes, they'll it... come out with the 2DS XL. Ooh, ooh, I got one better. Kevin will love this one. 2DS Mini with guns. Without the gun, <laughs> cut the guns. No guns. 2DS Mini. With Splatoon guns. With Splatoon guns. With paint guns. And paint. <laughs> yeah. And neon purple. I'm waiting for the, the 3DS Mini. They could do that. You know, for the 3DS I, Micro. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. I, I, I think, though, that uh, they I think they will actually make yeah, a they, new 2DS. Yeah. Wasn't the last Micro console put out by Nintendo a complete flop? Yeah, because but it, it was out, awesome. Yeah, it was a designer system. It had no headphone jack. Yeah. Uh, it was tiny, but it was really awesome. It looked like, really cool, though. You could fit it in like the you know the little pocket you have in jeans. What's you what could fit in that pocket? It's so you can have, the Game Boy Micro. It's so you can have a Game Boy 
and a Game Boy in your pocket. You're like, oh, what's in your pocket? Oh, two Game Boys. <laughs> Why do I not remember this? Color? So you can <laughs> trade Game between your what? Pokemon you Gold and yeah, Silver, or oh Ruby and Sapphire. God. For less money. Sorry, yeah. at Wiz. Um, yeah. Actually, I don't think it had a, uh, a sync port. GG. Oh, wow. It really didn't have anything. I mean, it was a really slick-looking device. I, I don't know if George yeah, can bring up a I picture of it. This. Wow. I kind of forgot that existed. Yeah, it was a pretty cool-looking yeah. device. This video is called The Forgotten nobody Consoles. nobody bought one. That's why you forgot it existed. Like, they sold none of them. Uh, let's see. Is that a micro-USB? Damn. I don't even know what kind of connect. Oh, no, that's the, uh, the, 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 the uh, s proprietary connector that they had. I mean, the Game Boy Advance to SP was the way to go. I wish I had it had one. Uh, yeah. Just a little... I have this one is a video of it. I play Wind Waker. Yeah, this so is your Game, the reason Game Boy Micro. Yeah. If you remember. I mean, it was a really cool looking device. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome. What is it? No, it's Game Boy Micro. What games did it play? Game Pokemon, Boy dude. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon. Pokemon. <Hey. laughs> That's it. That's all That's you all needed. You need. <laughs> That's all you need. This really? is a mini Pokemon player, AKA a cell phone. Bizarre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They were so ahead of their time, it's mind-blowing. Clearly. So... I mean, I play Pokemon on my cell phone at work all the time. <laughs> Check it out, guys. This is ba backyard baseball on my cell phone. Just saying. Yeah, this... <laughs> yep, backyard baseball on Dude, I wonder, I wonder if I can find an ISO for backyard football. <laughs> you probably can. While we're talking about piracy on the Gen and... Game Gas, yeah, great say. job, guys. Great job, great job. Thank you. Uh, it's technically legal for me to download because I own I, that cartridge. I, I own ba Backyard Baseball. It uh, is still actually, illegal Sam, to download. It is still illegal it is, to it download. It is still not legal, but way. I do own Backyard Baseball. Thank you, Humongous Games. <laughs> uh, Humongous Entertainment. I apologize. So. I miss those games. They were fun. <laughs> let's go ahead and, so let's let's go ahead and wrap up. And uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll jump into the deal of the week. Oh, wait, wait. One last I thing, thing I want, right. one last last thing I want to throw in and talk to you guys about. Have you seen the Xbox One PS4 laptop? Yes. I yes. It looks so what? stupid. No. Okay. And our thoughts are what? Just quick reaction? Is this no? Stupid. Just stupid? Stupid. Did somebody stupid. 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 this to me in space. Fan yeah. Fantastic. I've never, I've brilliant. Never seen this. Brilliant idea here. I'll just, uh, I guess I'll, I'll get an image for it real, yeah, qu you, real quick. You, you can find it real quick. It's uh, it, was this a, is this a Ben Heck creation? Mm. I, don't know, he, he, I don't know if he's still doing those things. First. First Google link I got, I drop it in Skype. Here. It's the, uh, the Playbox 4.1. <laughs> which is kind of the craziest thing I've seen in a while. Look at that thing. It's awesome. Hang on. We'll bring it up. There it is. Dude, that is, that is sick. That's what I'm saying. Good you know how IGN. amazing this would be to have, like, if you're traveling a lot? Yeah, except it yeah, costs, it probably like, weighs so much. $1,000. It costs $1,500. $1,500. And uh, we're playing. We're and we're playing, playing ads. ads so uh, we got good ads. Good job, good yeah. job, George. There's nothing I can do about it. Sorry. All right. Well, anyways, that's all right. So yeah, anyway, it the exists. Playbox, it the Playbox 401, fifteen hundred dollars, two consoles, uh, an HD screen, and uh, and yeah, that's pretty uh, much it. <laughs> I mean, a fried lap worth. if you put it on. Your worth screen. right? It's two consoles <laughs> on a laptop screen. That's that's great. For Super worth. That's all amazing. Right. Great. Yeah. Right. I'll go buy an Xbox One, a PlayStation <laughs> Four, a bunch of games, and one of those monitors that I have no, right no, no, there. No, no. But, but think can about you carry it, it like the, a suitcase? For people that are gamers that have to travel. Uh, think about the like some of the games writers and whatnot that are literally traveling all the time. There you go. See? Slash to the like, generates. How amazing would this Slash be to, to have? Slash yeah. It's probably so, more advertised for degenerates. Joe's hang right there. So, <laughs> Sam, how many games writers are traveling so much that they need to have a system like this? Uh, how, many different, how many different events are there going on all the time? Do you not think that there are writers for Kotaku or Joystick or what have you that or have to go to all of those? It's true. Well, they do you, do you really think those Kotaku writers to actually play all the games they're writing about? They yes. most likely just take notes. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right. Well, oh. We're not. We're not here to to shitstorm oh. on any other all website. Right. All right, all right, all right. I take that back. I didn't mean oh. to. My, my point was: <laughs> Do you think they really have can, can time get to the play GG any button. games at all? Pose what? mic. I mean, I, I heard. I've seen. Hang um, on, I'm gonna drop a mic for Benny here. What? Def Jam style. I didn't mean it like that. Okay. 
No, uh um, <laughs> so you guys are I not. was watching an interview with uh Jessica Chobot one time and she was talking about how she hadn't gotten to play a video game in over a month because she was traveling constantly to like PAX and E three and had, everything. Had she had an Xbox One PlayStation Four laptop. Boom. Bang. Not a problem. <laughs> Done. Exactly. Just add about $200 to any f- plane fees for the weight of that package. Um, bring it as your carry-on. Hey, how much? How much? Just yeah. in a laptop 200? bag. 200 200 uh, Well, actually, I uh, no, You can't see it from here. But uh, you know that big Pelican case I have? Yeah. 200 bucks to ship that bad boy. There you go. See? Two- All right. Yeah, it's, it's your carry-on. What is this? This is my carry-on. It's, you know, it's a lunch. <laughs> it's a really big lunchbox. Oh, I mean, I could probably, <laughs> all, I could basically fit that throw thing it in, in a the, laptop uh, in a bag. It's smaller than that. You'll get. Nah. I fit. I fit the wrong and two sets of Astros into a backpack to go to Chicago. People will think it's a bomb. Are you kidding me? It's a giant box. Okay. Okay. With if you want to talk about things that look like a bomb. Yeah. Okay. What the? What is? <laughs> I'm a, I take, apologize that I brought this, this topic. <laughs> take that backpack over there. Right. Load it up with like HDMI cables, mm-hmm. a video game console in the middle, and a laptop. There you go. Like, yeah, that thing got screened. The, the people in the security By line hand. were giving me dirty looks when I went through the airport in Chicago with my. I had like headsets, a couple uh, HDMI cables. Now, now, Sam, at least you didn't have a bunch of Game Cubes and Axe body spray. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Super old references for the win. All right. Sorry, I brought up the right. Xbox, PlayStation 4, laptop. That was a little monkey wrench. Wanted to throw in. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the Gen Gamecast. Anything can and will happen. It's true. That is. I true. want one of these. Here we see. Yeah, I just sold All one. Right, You're welcome. <laughs> you just. Are, are no, we getting? Are we getting a commission on those? I, get one. I hope so. Probably uh, not. If you want to send me one? <laughs> so. But if you, if you had the cash to blow, imagine bringing this thing to a bar. Yeah, I can imagine it getting ruined. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine one idiot going up to it and spilling a beer on it right away. Yep. Here, great. I'll put my beer right there. Yeah. Oh, that's and what it is. It's a big coaster. <laughs> <laughs> and then me going to jail for attempted murder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So speaking of next-gen consoles, if you wanted to get one and not spend $1,500, <laughs> I mean, who, who, who doesn't? Suit yourself. Whatever. <laughs> um, the Xbox One is going to officially drop to 350 bucks permanently starting Friday. Um, we had 350 during the holiday season, and it did good. really well. Microsoft's like, wait a minute. We're it's closing the gap. It's not a permanent drop. It's not? It's a promotion. It's, a pr- oh, it's another promotion. So yeah. essentially then, Microsoft is just going to run promotion into promotion into promotion and keep the system at $350 for the Forever. remainder of this year. Yeah. Because it was doing so well at 350 and they were closing because the they're the like, store. we're finally catching PlayStation Four in sales, guys. Let's go. The haterade is so real on this podcast. Oh yeah, we. Uh, no, no, no. We went through this. Xbox One is the PS Four is still outselling the Xbox One, but my Xbox One's hooked up right now. My PS Four is in the closet behind me, right. in the box. You could send it this way if you want. If you really would do. No, uh, it's not happening. I All bought right. that thing on release day. I can borrow it. And I then send stood it. in line for that thing. I didn't, <laughs> which makes it even better. <laughs> um. Oh, man. <laughs> so, Benny, do we have any news about the build-off? Do we have any I news at all? I, it would have already been out Benny's, had I not had an extended vacation yeah. over the weekend. <laughs> Due to Benny's extended vacation. <laughs> in New Mexico, where everything happens. I had to unpack. In New- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well... Things happen. Uh, there was supposed to be an announcement tomorrow. today about the uh, build off, but tomorrow we will have. I, a... I, I, last week I said this week we would have. Check the up, check so. the so tomorrow. Check our website. Yeah. For the announcement tomorrow or this soon weekend. TM. Yeah, soon TM. Let's leave it at soon TM. How, how does that? TM. Yeah, great, awesome, good. Also, good plan. Um, we will be having uh, a fantasy draft, a fantasy LCS draft this week at some point. I don't know. Can we do it tonight? Yeah, we can do it tonight if you want. Yeah, let's do it tonight. <coughs> All right, we'll have I'm a down. fantasy LCS dra- draft tonight. Joe, are you down? Probably not. Wow. Why? Whoa. I don't know. Wow. Don't know. Why? Just do it. <sighs> Just do it. It's fun. Joe. Who cares? And we'll put 10 RP each down for it, and it'll be fun. <laughs> 10 RP? Yeah. <laughs> is there is there actual buy-ins in the league? No, you can't do it on that. Damn actual, it. Yeah, <laughs> you can't actually do that. But that'd be that pretty funny. That would be awesome. That'd be pretty cool. 
Actually, they could can probably you, do can something you do, like can that. Can you do traits in uh, fantasy? Or can you I don't know. Are, I, I, are there free agents? I mean, there's only... I don't know. we got to look into What if that, something but. happens? Somebody, <laughs> like somebody went down. <laughs> I don't hey, think tonight well, should can... be the night. That needs a little more attention. What? I said we need a little more information. All right, all right. We'll, 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 we'll wait. It won't be tonight, but it will be soon. So yeah. uh, I got to I gotta get on the phone and yell it off to him tonight. So that's going to be Right, fun. right. What's his face? Right. Uh, uh, for Antonio. Antonio. Antonio, thank you. Yep. Antonio. Hashtag screw Antonio. Uh, <laughs> Antonio. <laughs> Coming for like you, Antonio. Antonio. Grass. Super important <laughs> last week. God. All right, so I'm excited for the fantasy LCS yeah, draft. Yeah, that's gonna that's be fun. Kind of cool. So uh, we can update I, I, you guys. I think I think we're 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 getting to the end of the show, so we're gonna throw it around for shoutouts. Maybe it's got them or any last things. Mm. We'll start with the Skype folks. Anybody? No, no shoutouts. No shoutouts. Benny's got his mic muted. He's laughing Point hysterically. Sorry, I got a few more guests in the room, but we're <laughs> wrapping up the show soon, so we're yes. all right. We'll be yes. all right. So uh, let, 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 let's do wrap up. If uh, Benny should if shout out to, to Bubbles for letting him live there. Yeah, yeah. Where's Bubbles? Yeah, yeah. is Bubbles in the room? He's shout in out the room. Gen Game I, West. I think they're going to get food. So ah, Gen Game West reporting. Yeah, Gen Game. Gen, Gen, Gen West. West. We oh, Gen Game Central is going to be a thing soon too. Apparently, Gen, 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 what? What? Gen Game Central. That's a thing. We have Gen oh, Game. Yeah, 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 we have yeah, Gen yeah. Game East Coast, mm-hmm. which is here. Gen Game West, which is uh, which is in Arizona, and then uh, soon to be announced, three four weeks, we'll have uh, Gen Game Central. <laughs> this is an announcement of an announcement. I just got Alex Garfield <laughs> on your asses. <laughs> so uh, let's All go right. ahead and uh, wrap up, um, George. If we can get the uh, the the outro going. Yeah, yeah, of course. We'll wait a minute for George to get so, that ready. While we are getting that, um, I was getting ready for a shout out. This is not the outro. Holy crap! What is that? Why is that there? I I don't know. I don't. Know. But, uh, I, that it should never be there. Yeah, right. <laughs> what is? <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Yeah. So, so we'll uh, we'll th- we'll throw this out. Um, Sam, where can people find you on the interwebs? Uh, they can find me on Twitter at x the underscore raven. I check that occasionally. Did you, get, did you get those notifications to your phone? Uh, I don't. It got really annoying after a while, but I check it. Um, I had to shut off Instagram. I guess. On my phone. I got like that. the same thing on everything else except for League. Uh, except it's a space instead of an underscore. So, All right. That's like where you find me on the internet. That is X the underscore Raven on Twitter. Benny. Where else can people find you? What's up? Jeez. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Skipped. All right. I'm really sorry. Skipped. Um, I'm lazy. You can find me down there. Um, you can also email me at BennyG at Jenkin.net because I'm going to be needing lots of emails for lately because build off stuff soon. Yes. Tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm going to work on, I'm gonna work on the, the signups tonight and probably have a post up tomorrow. So. Cool. We're looking forward to that. Joe, where can people find you online? I don't even know where to find me online, to be totally honest. Joe Apparently, <laughs> to my knowledge, there is a Twitter page for me made by <laughs> somebody from this studio. I don't know. It could have been me. It could have been, been this guy. I don't know. Could have been one of these um, two clowns. Majority of the time, I'm Silent Sniper in whatever game you're playing. With Ys. With Ys instead of Ys. Or occasionally, I'm that guy. Oh, wait. X that. XX guy. X. X. He, right. he is, is that what it because is? Because he is that guy. <laughs> yeah, that, that's from a That long guy time can't ago. even spell his own name. That I think that's guy. it. I haven't logged on right. to that guy in a long time. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll, we'll get you set up soon enough. There's a Twitter somewhere. George. Uh, you guys can find me at, at George Picard. That is my name. Uh, it's below. It's not below me. It's below me now. But uh, you can find me at George Picard on Twitter, GG Space Gold and Green on League of Legends. And uh, that's pretty weird. Uh, Gold and Green 631 on Xbox Live. You really want to hit me. <laughs> You can follow on Xbox Live. You can follow me on Xbox Live if you know if you want. And I'm your host, Trevor Mignani. You can follow me on Twitter at the Mags. Make sure you follow Gen Game on Twitter at Gen Game and follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Gen Game. Uh, we'll be back next Thursday for another episode of the best gaming podcast on Long Island. I think I think we're I think we have that title. Yes. I think we're good with that. Yep, one. we're good. We can go and Orlando. And Orlando. 
Actually, yeah. I don't know about Orlando. There might be one other, another set of people there. But that's going to do it for the show. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.